the morning is a dangerous time and we need to be careful how we spend it. As the wise Richard Watley once said, lose an hour in the morning and you will spend the whole day looking for it. In other words, if you are starting your day off on the wrong foot, it's likely that you will struggle to find the energy, the motivation and of course the willpower to tackle the tasks ahead. And that's why in today's video, I will be sharing the top 7 things you should never do in the mornings. But don't worry, it will be a fast and enjoyable video, so stay tuned and learn how to set yourself up for success every single day don't make plans when you wake up now you might think it's weird but hear me out i used to spend my mornings making a plan for the day from scratch but let me tell you it was a time consuming process because first you have to understand the day second you have to do a to-do list and last but not least just figuring out how to divide the hours within the day and it was a lot so i started making a list of things to do the next day before bed every night and identifying the most important tasks for the following day. And when I wake up, I already knew what needs to be done and what my top priority is. And it only takes a few minutes to distribute those tasks throughout the day and boom, my plan is ready. Moral of the story, don't make plans from the scratch in the morning. You have already made them the night before. This will save you time. Secondly, reduce decision fatigue. I will talk about that later and allow you to start your day with focus, concentration, and trust me, your future self will thank you. The snooze button. Time to rise and shine and I'm not just talking about your alarm clock. It's time to wake up and take on the day and that means no more hitting the snooze button. And I know, I know, it's really tempting because you are all cozy and warm in your bed and the thought of facing the day can be overwhelming. But let's be real, snoozing just delays the inevitable. Besides, hitting the snooze button isn't just delaying your morning tasks, it's delaying your whole life. I mean, just... Think about it, every time you hit that snooze, you're postponing the chance to live the life you want. You know, I mean the one you dream about in your head but never seem to make a reality. Because successful people don't just sit around hitting that snooze, they get up and get going and they find solutions instead of hoping problems will disappear and they face obstacles head on and don't let them hold them back. So let's make a deal, no more snoozing, it's time to hit the start button and take on the day because life doesn't just happen, we have to make it happen and trust me, it's a lot more fun when you're not just dreaming about it but actually living it too many options every spend hour scrolling through streaming sites trying to find the perfect movie to watch only to give up and go to bed empty-headed or spend hours searching for the perfect location spot only to end up frustrated and tired so that happens sometimes to me or walk through store after store hunting for the perfect shoe only to come home empty-footed yeah we have all been there and it can be frustrating sometimes because it feels like every decision we make takes a ton of energy. For example, when we have to make decisions like this. What should I eat for breakfast? Should I meet up with someone in the evening? Should I go somewhere? Should I do this or that? When should I hit the road or should I hit the gym? The more decisions we have to make, the harder it can be to make a good one. And that's why the most successful people in the world like Mark Zuckerberg often wear the same thing every day because they want to make fewer decisions in the morning and save their energy for the important stuff. Instead of wasting energy on simple decisions, they focus on the ones that really matters. So the next time you find yourself feeling overwhelmed by all the decisions you have to make, try to plan ahead and create a morning routine that doesn't require too many choices. Trust me, it will make your day a lot smoother. Terrible nutrition and coffee so it's funny how people who are super careful about the kind of fuel they put in the car will start the day off with a bunch of sugary bread pastries and sweets and I mean come on those kind of foods are not going to make you the best version of yourself in fact they will probably make you feel tired and scattered for the rest of the day and let's be real a high sugar breakfast is just setting you up for failure you will get hungry again really quickly because your body's love for sugar spikes and then crashes just as fast and when it crashes you feel like crap and that's why tim ferris recommends consuming at least 30 grams of protein within 30 minutes of waking up because protein helps keep your blood sugar levels stable so you won't get hungry as often and you will feel more balanced and that's why it's a good idea to eat something protein rich in the morning like cheese eggs or just a protein shake but what about coffee should you drink it as soon as you wake up or should you just hold off well here's the deal I will tell the math of it and you can decide by yourself. When you wake up, your body starts producing the hormone cortisol, which helps to keep you awake and alert. If you drink caffeine right away, it's like watering a tree 
in the rain. It's not going to do much good and you might even end up doing more harm than good. Expert says that it's a good idea to just wait at least three to four hours after waking up to have your first cup of coffee. So personally what I do is to just drink a banana tea or mango tea. Yeah, banana is really strange. And um, yeah, you will see, you will feel much more awake uh, after a couple of, couple of weeks just drinking tea difficulty waking up from bed. So I hope you had a restful night today, but if you found yourself tossing and turning around in bed in the morning, you're not alone because it's not uncommon for people to lay in bed for a long time in the morning, half asleep and unable to get up. But the big problem is if this is happening to you on a regular basis, it's time to find out why. Because there could be a number of reasons why you're having trouble sleeping, like including going to bed late, eating too much before bed or maybe just being disturbed by noise or light which I really hate or simple not having a good reason to get up in the morning. And yeah, all of those things can lead to poor quality of sleep which can leave you feeling tired and sluggish during the day, which just sucks. But the good news is that there are steps you can take to improve your sleep. For example, it really helped me personally, maybe it will help also you, is taking magnesium before bed. Um, I mean, it's not guaranteed but worth a try which helps helps you sleep better and wake up uh, feeling more rested. Other things you can try is to include establishing a bedtime routine, creating a sleep friendly environment, for example, a dark, quiet and cool environment. Yes cool so not warm because the ideal temperature to sleep is a cooler temperature and of course avoiding screen before bed yeah i know that this is really hard for 99 percent of the people watching this video right now but you have to do something against it don't just accept that feeling drowsy in the morning is normal because it's not Take your sleep seriously and do everything to get the rest you need. Trust me, your body and the productivity will thank you. Start the day with FOMO. Now, I guess you heard the headline. I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, how am I supposed to stay connected with the world if I don't spend a part of my time at least on social media and checking my phone? And I get it, it's tough. But here's the thing, there are so many other ways to stay connected and informed about what's going on in the world. You can read, for example, a book, listen to a podcast or even have a conversation with a real life human being. Imagine that. But seriously, it's important to find a balance. Social media and the internet can be great tools, but they can also be addictive and time consuming if you're not careful. So try setting limits for yourself and take breaks from screens every once in a while. Trust me, your brain will thank you. And hey, if you're feeling FOMO-y, just remember there will always be something you're missing out of. That's just the nature of life. But the important thing is to focus on what you have and not what you're missing. So go out and live your best life and don't worry about missing out on the latest TikTok dances or viral videos. Trust me, it will still be there when you're ready to come back. Morning routine irregularity. Are you someone who always feels rushed in the morning and can't seem to get their day started on the right foot? Well. I've got the perfect solution for you, a morning routine. Now, I know what you might be thinking, a morning routine? That sounds so boring and predictable. How could that shit possibly be fun? But trust me, a morning routine can be a game changer. Not only it will help you to start your day off on the right foot, but it can also save you some time and energy by eliminating the need to make countless decisions before eating a nourishing, healthy breakfast. So what should this magical morning routine look like? I mean, that's completely up to you because some people like to start their day off with a little exercise to get their blood pumping and the endorphins flowing and other people prefer for example a few moments of quiet meditation or journaling to set their intentions for a day. But no matter what activity you choose to include in your morning routine, the key is to make it consistent and stick to it every day because this will help you to establish a sense of structure and discipline that can carry over into the rest of your day. Plus, it's just plain satisfying check things off your list you prepared the night before as you complete them. So are we ready to give a morning routine a try? Trust me, your future self will thank you for it. Just imagine how much more productive and focused you will be with a solid morning routine in place. Plus, it's a great way to kick off each day with a sense of accomplishment and purpose. Now, let me know in your comments below if you want to give it a shot. Also, thanks for checking out my video. If you found it helpful, give it a like and hit that subscribe button. It would really mean the world to me and boost my dopamine levels. Speaking of dopamine, as I told you before, it is the key to success in all areas of life, including the financial ones. So before you start implementing those seven tips for a successful morning, morning routine make sure to get your dopamine in check with just watching this video here trust me it's a game changer